to join us today. Um, as you'll notice, we're using a different kitchen today. This is what's called our A1 apartment home and it's 677 square feet. It has a beautiful kitchen which we love to use. And you can see we've got washer and dryer over right here, the front door, but the kitchen is gigantic and as well as the apartment itself. We wanted to showcase that to you today. So let's get started. We are going to make some very easy creamy chicken enchiladas and it's from our cookbook that Graystar has put together for the active adult community. It says favorite recipes from Graystar's active adults because when we become active adults that means that we've had years and years of experience with years and years of trials and cooking. So today we're going to go to page 45. Well, I am going to go to 45. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, there we go. And they're called creamy chicken enchiladas. It's a very, very easy recipe. And this recipe actually is one from my very best friend who lives in Dallas, Texas. Um, we put this in here because it's so easy and it's something that you could cook at a moment's notice using very simple ingredients, very fast ingredients. It serves a family quickly. And as we are active adults here, it will serve your friends very quickly. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about that before we start cooking. It is so important during this time where we have to quarantine and shelter in place to think about the future and to think about happier times which are coming for all of us where we can be together with all of our friends and family. And it's a great time to experiment. As you know, if you watched us last week, I love to experiment. I love to play with food. I love to serve food. I really love just the aspect of getting together with everybody when you're cooking. And I love involving everybody, so I always involve all my friends. I've had many nights and days where Marty and I would sit together and we would make this for our church. We would sit there and we'd put it together, we'd talk and laugh and roll these enchiladas um, and then serve and then everybody's so happy. So we're happy that you're here with us today and let's get started. So first of all, we got a rotisserie chicken. Nothing's easier than using a rotisserie chicken. You have to enjoy playing with it because you have to shred it. And um, my husband hates to shred chicken, but I love it. So what we did here was, like last week, we did half a batch already. And so this is just half the rotisserie chicken. I already used the other half, so I'm just gonna show you. And this made about six enchiladas. We're going to use this bowl because what we're going to do is we are going to add the rest of the ingredients. So the first ingredient is your cream of chicken soup. And then we're going to add, well, we're supposed to use green chilies, a can of green chilies. However, we do not have that. So we are going to go and be creative today and use half a can of Rotel. Cannot mess up this recipe again. I always tell you all that because you really can't. So we're gonna add this in here. And we're also going to add some of your chicken broth. It says a third of a cup. I personally like to add it a little bit more than that to make it a little thinner uh, because I'll show you why. Because you're gonna mix the chicken in with it too. So I'm gonna add a third of a cup. I'm gonna add a little bit more. So just play with it, test it out, see what you think. So are y'all having a great day? I hope you are, because we are today. Okay, so then we're also going to add some cheese. So we used right here some sharp cheddar cheese that's shredded. This is eight ounces. So what you want to do, what the recipe asks you to do, is you're going to put the cheese in here, but reserve some of this cheese. And the reason why we put this in a separate container is because we're going to reserve some of that to put over the top of our enchiladas. I'm just going to put the cheese in here. I'm probably just going to put about half of it on here because I like a lot of cheese on top of the enchiladas. And then we're going to mix this up. So one of my favorite things to do is cook with my son and my husband. My husband doesn't really like to cook. He says he can't. I think he does that so that I'll cook. But my son really does like to cook. He's 22 and it's a great thing for each person to know and I tried to give him some really 
date kind of recipes so he could be impressive. And it actually works. <laughs> okay, so we've mixed this up. And what we're going to do is reserve some of this. And see, it looks really yummy when you put in the Rotel. We didn't use the green chilies. You can use all kinds of things that you might like that you have in your kitchen. Because we went across the street to our grocery store. They didn't have it. Let's improvise. And let's learn. Let's have fun. And you might find something you like better than what we had before. Okay. So we're going to, if you stay with us on this cooking series, we're going to do all kinds of recipes. I think you'll have a lot of fun. So what you're going to do is you're going to mix this together. And as you can see, it's just because this is the mixture that's going to go inside of your flour tortillas. And we'll be using flour tortillas. In addition to this, to give it a little more flavor, we are going to cut up some green onions. So we're going to have this. So right now, Victoria is our lifestyle coordinator. She is the one who is filming this for Facebook, and she does a fantastic job. She is the one who puts together all of our activities, all of our events, all of our Facebook. Um, she is fabulous, and so I'm hoping that when we are no longer sheltering in place, she'll come visit us and see all the fun things that she puts together for us each day. We did just do a book exchange, so our concierge, JT, took the books up to each resident as well as Victoria. And we're able to share like a library. And don't worry, we did clean all the books off. Okay, so you can put as many green onions in here as you like. I actually like a lot. So my first batch, I did a few. This time we're gonna have a lot. We're gonna serve our team with it. Okay, so you're gonna put this all together, mix it up. Hector Chavez says hi, and he, they're getting hungry. Hi, Hector. We miss you. Wish you were here. <laughs> okay, so we are going to, okay, so you've got to prepare your pan. You have to put in cooking spray. Um, I personally like olive oil, so we're gonna use olive oil cooking spray. This is so nothing sticks to it. And then we're going to take our flour tortillas. And since I already made a batch earlier, we know it makes about six, but we're just going to fill them up as much as we can. And I just take it like this, and I add as much as you can in here, where you can roll up the enchilada comfortably. So I'm actually I could probably put a little bit more. Okay, so we're going to do this and fold it. Put the seam down because it makes a prettier presentation. I'm all about presentation. I'm all about the food too, but I love the presentation. I love doing events, and I love especially seeing people's faces when they get our food. I think I told y'all last week that my mom was a caterer. She didn't come by that originally in life, but she became one later on in life. And her saying was always that it brings joy, and whatever is joyful is what she wants to do. So she taught us at a very young age to make a lot of food, and if you came to our house, you would see that we didn't have just a little bit of food. We had enough for an army. So whatever we had left over, we would take over to different friends. And they couldn't wait. They were always so excited that my mom would have that. I never understood that when I was younger, but as I've gotten older, I do understand it. So Maureen says, thanks for sharing, Jane. Looking good. Thank you. And Julie says, it's highly probable that Jane will be the next Martha Stewart and get her own show. <laughs> thank you for saying that. Probably <laughs> not. Martha Stewart is so amazing, but thank you. <laughs> We're going to keep going at it with our chicken until we fill this up. So we like knowing what you like to do because you know that will help me also in maybe showcasing a favorite recipe of yours. Um, we do are we are doing the recipes from the Active Adult Cookbook, and those are for purchase. It is a way to give back during this crazy time. Um, it does go to Meals on Wheels and Meals on Wheels actually does take care of seniors in the community, so it's really important. Oh, it's a really fantastic way to get back. Okay, so we're done with that. We're gonna move all this over here, and then what you're going to do is take 
the extra sauce that we made earlier and we are going to kind of spoon it over the top. And normally, like I said, it has green chilies, but this looks yummy to me. All this pretty color. All about the color, too. We're going to make sure we've got plenty of sauce in here. And there we go. Got your sauce going right in here. And then you're going to add the rest of your cheese. Let me get that over here. And I do wash my own dishes because I have no assistant. <laughs> Wish I did, but no, Victoria's been fantastic. She helps me with everything. We are a great team here. We try to help each other with everything that goes on. So we are hoping that you'll come back and visit us. And if there's something that you like, maybe one of these days we'll just make it for you when you come and see it. I am a sales consultant here, and that is probably the love that I have too. I love showing everybody, helping everybody find the right place for them. Okay, so you can kind of see, you want to cover the top of it. If you have more cheese and want to add it or add different kinds of cheeses, you can. This is just what the recipe calls for. It's very simple and very easy. And, and I already got that in there. So, okay, so let's get this out. As you can see, I have misplaced my <laughs> pot holder. So, excuse me while we take this one out to showcase to y'all. And because I know that there are six in here, you know exactly where to cut it. And I'll take this over to, I'll put this over here for you. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put this in the oven. So what you want to do is you're going to preheat it to 350. I have mine on 280 at the moment just because we were just warming that up. But you preheat it to about 350 and I baked it for like 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes. Um, if you want to broil the top, you can. I didn't do that today, but then it kind of gives that little cheesy crisp to it. So thank you once again for joining us. Thank you for attending and giving me great comments today. And hopefully next week we're going to do a dessert. So come see us. Thank you. Bye.